not gonna lie to you guys. I don't really feel like being here. You know what I mean? Like yesterday, um, as you guys probably saw already when I was doing the deads, fucking brutal on that last set. Um, gave it everything I had, you know, pushed through the pain for one set, um, but wasn't taking that until I finished everything. So, you know, we ended up grinding out like the last set completely. And during the process, my, like I was training so hard that my skin stretched and my arms started to tear right here. On top of that, still on the road to lifting without straps for deadlifts. So we're doing hook grip. And since I'm not used to it yet, my fucking thumbs, you know, right here and everything are getting torn up. Um, behind on sleep because I'm just coming back from vacation. But it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Because uh, we're not puss made. So even though we don't feel like being here, we're dealing with all these things, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna lift some heavy shit. Three by three, it'll be too light. But yeah, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna feel fucking heavy. It's gonna be tough. We're still gonna do it, you know what I mean? As long as I got God behind me and the croc cult, anything's possible. I could jump out this fucking window right now, fly to space, you know what I mean? Go out, conquer a solar system right now with God and the croc cult. Like anything's fucking possible. So heavy weight for a set of three, that's fucking easy, child's play. I'm about to fucking brutalize this thing. You know what I mean? Like one plate on each side, absolutely a fucking joke. I am going to send this weight home crying. Like when I'm done, it's gonna need a fucking therapist the way I'm attacking it, dude. Like get on that, take a fucking bite of its flesh. <laughs> oh. I got a nut that can't story to tell me about how a black nigga was born in hell. And right there. I mean, I'm not one to, I don't know, it feels like today. It feels like today. It makes me hopeful, but um, it still is just a warm up. So I can't say 100% like, oh yeah, this shit's gonna be free. It's gonna be easy. Um, as we start to get heavier, feel it out. I'll be able to feel you know, more confident depending on how heavy it is. But for right now, I'm in good spirits about uh, how the, squat is about to feel so i think i'm gonna do about three more warm-ups and then we'll get into the the good heavy shit yeah I was thinking, I was about to go with the 25s, but then I was like, no, don't be a puss. So we're going on with the 45s. Um, if you're ever debating on deciding between like two weights, like should I go for this or should I go for that? Good little tip, always go with the heavier shit. So if you're debating whether or not going for like an 800 pound deadlift or like a 315, go for the 800. you know what they say folks heavier is better See, 
heavier is better. Always go with the heavy weight. Would that have looked as cool if it was with lighter weight? Fuck no. Go heavy. Please, do it. She was gonna be an actress. She was gonna be your star. She was gonna shake her ass on the hood of White Snake's car. Apologies. I almost forgot. It's just when you get into that music and you feel it in your soul, you kind of forget what's going on around you, which is fucking perfect because if you feel the music enough when you get into a set, you don't feel anything. You're kind of just moving. You don't feel any pain. It's like a fucking invincibility frames, you know, like you're playing Super Mario and you're big Mario and you step on spikes or get hit by a fireball. And then like you have the invincibility frames where you can continue to step on spikes or get hit right after and you're still alive. Be like Mario. Like, what the fuck was that? That was light, you know what I mean? <sighs> Guys, we finally got on the uh, working weight. So this is the shit that we're gonna be doing for a uh, three by three. So yeah, we got on 480 pounds. Um, with how this week has been, you know, everything that I talked about coming from coming back from vacation and shit like that. The purpose isn't just to like push heavy weight. Um, it's just kind of getting back into lifting heavy. So I don't necessarily have to pit on more weight for that last set and do progressive overload like I usually would. Um, the goal is just to be able to get this for, you know, a three by three straight through. But if we do happen to feel phenomenal, we'll pit on more weight. Um, so yeah, we'll see. I feel pretty good right now, but, you know, still haven't even done the first set. So this will give us like an actual uh, gauge at, you know, how that second set will feel, if we'll be able to possibly add on more weight for that last set. So let's get into it. Probably wasn't the best idea to fucking shoulder press 135 before that set, but we at least got one set done. But honestly, I don't know about the next two, but we'll see. Let me do the second set. Praying to God that uh, the reason the first set felt so fucking heavy was because of the shoulder press. 
But if that's not the case, we'll just push through the pain, push through the struggle, still get it done regardless. Cause I'm just like that, you know? Oh, I mean, I'll say that it felt better in the second set, but we're gonna be fighting for our fucking life on that last set, for real. So we felt out the first set and the second set. Definitely not gonna do an ego play and put on more weight for this. <laughs> Cause even doing this for the last set is gonna be a fucking struggle, dude. Like you guys saw the first and the second set. We got it done but we were fighting for our lives on that last rep, you know? So now we're even more gassed and we still have a set of three. So definitely not adding on weight for this. Um, and I'm still nervous. I'm still nervous. Like this shit is going to be brutal. We are gonna have to fight. Um, the only, like I'm just hoping that like the first set is gonna, or first rep is gonna be free. Um, I'm just hoping that for the second rep, there's no misgrooves, nothing. Um, we can stay strong and we don't get the shakes too bad so that I can go into that third rep with just a lot of confidence. Because the thing is when I go into another rep on squats, um, I'm trying to put it in a, like a, a way to like fully explain, right? So of lifting it's not just so much about strength but it's also about technique and it's also about confidence you can have the strength to do a rep of a certain weight um, but if you're lacking the confidence a lot of the time it can throw you off you're second guessing yourself and that can literally you know prevent you from lifting weights it's happened to me numerous times on deadlifts where i've known i've had the strength for it but i've second guessed myself and that has cost me a rep so the reason I'm hoping that the second rep is just clean, no miss grooves, no leg shakes, is because if I do that second rep and I get to my third rep and I got like the shakes, you know what I mean? You know, my CNS is fried. It's gonna hurt my confidence a lot. I am literally going to like fucking second guess myself and I'm gonna be like, oh, I don't know about this. So I'm just hoping that for that second rep, um, it just goes smooth. Like th the legs are gonna shake regardless after that second rep, maybe even the first. But I'm just hoping that I don't feel it, you know, bad to the point where I'm like, oh, I don't know about this, you know, second guessing myself. So if that doesn't happen and the third rep is free, but if it does happen, um, I might do a little bit of second guessing, but best believe we are going to fucking fight for that last rep. Every time we get to heavy weight, we do a little bit of envisioning, but I think I'm gonna switch it up do some prayer time for this last set. So, close our eyes, bow our heads. Dear Lord, I'm feeling a little bit nervous about this weight that I'm about to move. Um, so I just pray that everything goes well, you know, that I can finish strong, finish the week strong with just a good three by three with uh, 480 by just completing this last set of three, you know, uh, living up to the Croc Cult's expectations and just getting it done. And I pray that if I do fail, um, that, you know, we stay positive, we get through it, we're able to look back, see where we made mistakes and fix that so that next time it doesn't happen again. In your name, amen. Let's quit, cause when you grow up in the
fucking easy, dude. Sometimes when shit gets tough, all you can do is put your faith in the Lord and get it done.